Good morning, Jamie. Good morning, Susan. So I'm going to talk about Just Be Cool, Jenna Sakai. And this is written actually by a local author, Debbie Machiko Florence. Nice. So I always love when it's a local author, too. Yes. So Jenna is in seventh grade. She's just broken up with Elliot, her boyfriend. Her parents are also recently divorced and our, her father has moved to Texas. So he's living in another state and she decides she's just gonna kind of lay low and hang out with her best friend Kiko, except that Kiko has a boyfriend. So she's less and less available. And so Jenna now is reaching a point where she's like, you know, fine, I'm just gonna be a loner. This is much easier. And she finds this great diner that has a Broadway theme and each of the booths have, um, is named after a Broadway show. So she finds Hamilton the first time she's there. That has a happy memory. She remembers going there with her parents and what a wonderful time. So she really connects that with her father. So that's like her booth now. And she's gonna go there every day and hang out after school and just be on her own and do her homework, except, oh, now there's this boy who sometimes is sitting in her booth. So it's just like issue after issue. The big thing she finds out though is being a loner is actually pretty darn lonely. Mm -hmm. And add to that, she is tamping down so much emotions and mm -hmm. holding them in, which is really, we know, not a healthy thing to do. So this is realistic fiction. This is that realistic fiction though that's at the very tippity tippity top of middle grade. Um, you can really hand this to 11, 12, and even 13 year olds, even though she's in seventh grade, somebody who's 13 and about to go into eighth grade. Um, it's a sophisticated, actually very mature main mm -hmm. character. And um, so this is that type of bridge book that really is top of middle grade for somebody who's about to move into young adult. That's really and good it, to know about. It's, it's a perfect balance. Mm -hmm. And like I said, the issues she's dealing with and the way that they're, they're being handled. But yeah, so great. Just be cool, Jenna's a guy. Excellent. And I brought um, Fright Watch number one, The Stitchers, just came out in paperback. So um, Stephen King mm -hmm. says, this is the perfect book for kids to cool off with on a hot day because the chills come guaranteed. So when Stephen King is recommending a middle grade novel, you know it's going to be good. I read this book and absolutely loved it back when it came out in hardcover. It's a wonderful mix of mystery and scare. Um, lots of good storytelling though. It's not just a, you know, kind of slash or silly thing. This is actually a really good story. It has some heft to it. Right. So this is a good one to pick up in August, paperback. And then number two is coming out August 31st. Nice. Same two main characters in the second one. Um, in the second one, um, some, uh, some new people move into their neighborhood and it's a lady who does interior design and she has a little group of interior design people and one of Quinn's friends is really happy that some people with style have finally moved in. But all these ladies only wear white. Mm. And they seem to be up to some pretty creepy things. So number two promises to be awesome. Start with number one in paperback and you'll be ready for number two. You'll get two books read before the end of summer. Perfect. 